Hi guys, it's me, Debbie Bubbles. Welcome back to my channel and into the walls of my home. In today's video, we are not doing anything decor related. We are, however, going to make a meal. We're gonna do some meal prep for Sunday dinner. There's only gonna be me and my two adult sons today. My husband is not home with us, nor is my daughter. So the boys came and they're gonna enjoy mama <laughs> and football. How about some football? They're gonna watch those Cowboys play. My Saints won today. Hey. <laughs> but anyway, we're not gonna talk about all that. So y'all keep watching and I'll be right back. Okay, so guys, they're the vegetables that are gonna go into this evening's meal. We have some baby carrots, jalapeno peppers, green bell pepper, onion, some new potatoes. And we're gonna get those in a veggie bath. <laughs> get them all clean and scrubbed up good and we'll go from there. But before that, we're gonna soak our terracotta cookware in some water. It's something that I got for my birthday and this is gonna be the first time I've used it. So I'm excited about that. I love to cook, I love to bake. Now you have to submerge your terracotta bakeware inside of um, water, totally submerge it. And as you see those bubbles there, that just means that that water is getting soaked into the pores. <laughs> you wanna soak it in order to keep it from cracking when you put it in the oven. All right, so back to the veggies. I'm going to do some rough chopping, slicing and dicing of the veggies just to get them prepared for the terracotta bakeware here in a little bit. As you see there, just a rough chop going on. I'm gonna chop up the jalapenos a little more, a little finer than what they are there. I'm giving you a brief overview of some of the spices that are going, gonna go into this meal as well. Um, what you don't see here, and which you probably won't see until closer to the end of the preparation is gonna be sun-dried tomatoes. I forgot to get those out. So those will go in after the protein goes in. Anyway, there's another look at the carrots. Those carrots are gonna be the first thing that I put inside of the terracotta cookware whenever it is through soaking. Now here are some cute little oven mitts. I found these over at Dollar Tree today. <laughs> I don't know what I went in Dollar Tree for, eh, no telling, but I went in Dollar Tree and I found these cute little um, baking mitts. And so I bought them or oven mitts, whatever you want to call them. They're kind of cute, love the pattern. Now our bakeware is finished soaking, so we're draining all that water out of there. No need to dry it, no need to spray it with any kind of cooking sprays. It is for the most part non-stick. I will, however, be putting butter in, not for the stick proofing of it, but um, because butter makes things better. I'm putting the butter in for the flavor. So the carrots are going in first, followed by the new potatoes, the onion, the bell pepper, there's that butter, the jalapeno peppers, some garlic, some minced garlic is going in there and then it's on to the protein. Now I do wash my my chicken. Oh yeah, because there's so much bone meal and other things. You do what you want to do at your house with your food, but I'm gonna clean mine up the way I, the way I do. And as you see there, I've now seasoned everything up really, really, really well because I like for things to have some good flavor. We're gonna add the chicken. These are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And we're adding that on top of all the vegetables. And here are a few more pats of butter. <laughs> Gotta have the butter. No. And we're gonna close this up good. And once we get it all covered up, we're going to put this inside of a cool oven. Hadn't started it yet. We're gonna get the container in the oven and then I'm going to turn the oven on 425 degrees. I baked this for approximately two hours. And as you see, I've uncovered it there and I'm uncovering it because I want to brown this. I want some browning to take place, so lucky there like magic voila magic no just cooking just baking anyway um <laughs> this is beautiful it smells wonderful i wish there was smell of vision and like i said i forgot to i didn't show you me putting the um sun-dried tomatoes in there but there's some of them now i am plating 
I'm having white rice with mine. My boys, one is having yellow rice and the other one is having brown rice and quinoa. Yep, mama's a short order cook. <laughs> Just, I, I aim to please. So this is my oldest son, Patrick's meal. And he has that um, brown rice and quinoa. And of course there's wine. You know there's gonna be wine. I don't, I think I'd lose my, um, my French card if I didn't have wine of some sort. <laughs> So there's also beer because Patrick brought some beer from one of our favorite little um, breweries here in town, um, Pondicetta. And this was actually pretty tasty. I just had a sip or two of it because I prefer the wine. And dessert. Dessert was courtesy of Patrick. There's some pumpkin roll and also a strawberry trifle. So, y'all, yeah, the meal was wonderful. The dessert was great. But the company of my boys mm, priceless i hope y'all enjoyed the video have a blessed and beautiful evening i love you god bless you stay safe Mwah. and until next video i'll see you next time oh and by the way the cowboys lost bye